Welcome everyone! Many users have noticed after updating to iOS 26, there is an extreme amount of lag. This iPhone 11 is for recording purposes, but my daily driver iPad, which is an iPad M1, has been completely crippled. And many YouTube tutorials, they tell you that if you just go into settings, I mean look how slow this is, and you go into reduce transparency by turning this one on, by turning on reduce motion, it's going to improve the performance. But truth be told, it doesn't. But with this iPhone mod, look at this. No liquid glass present and immediately, oh my goodness, my iPhone is completely fixed. Just everything fully smooth, fully great. But there's some caveats with this iPhone mod as it is a mod. So you really need to watch this part of the video. Consider if you want to use this mod in your iPhone and then we can proceed. So the first thing is that some liquid glass elements have this solid white color. So liquid glass would be here, it's solid white, and that does cause problems in two parts of the operating system. So the first one is inside of the app library, you can see there's a solid white color here. And when you type text, you can see the text does work. If I look for an app, it will work. So if I look for App Store, it will work. However, you will notice that the preview of that text in app library doesn't show up. It's a solid white line. That's the first place that happens. The second place is inside of the spotlight search. The preview for the text is gone, but those are the only two places where that issue happens. So if I were to go inside the settings, you can see everything's fully functional. If I were to go into the web browser, you can see the web browser fully functional. So those are the two places that you will lose functionality for. That's the first thing to consider. Moreover, if I swipe down and enter control center, you can see the icons are all white and I can't see the slider when I change brightness. However, if you long press, you can see you kind of just have to guess what you're doing here, but the buttons do work and they are fully functional. If your lock screen wallpaper uses the glass theme, you won't see the time. So you will need to long press on the empty space and then just tap on the clock and just set this back to solid to show your time. Now, the second thing to consider to restore the liquid glass functionality, you will either have to restore an old backup of your iPhone, which we can make before doing this mod. You really need to make a backup or number two. If you don't make a backup, you will need to reinstall the operating system. This won't lose data, but it is a very time consuming process. So just keep that in mind before you do this mod. And number three, Apple can patch this mod, which means this video isn't useful. So the time recording, if I go into my about settings, you can see I am running iOS 26.0, fully working. 26.0.1, fully working. 26.1, fully working, but that can change in the future. So yes, this was a bit long, but you do need to understand the caveats after understanding the caveats, if you are happy to proceed and I've done this on my personal iPad, so I was happy, but if you are as well, let's first of all, start by opening up settings, then tap your name at the very top. And then inside of here, we're going to head into find my, and then find my iPhone. And we need to turn this one off. This is a temporary procedure. Once we have disabled the liquid glass, we can turn back on, find my iPhone and everything will be okay. So let's turn this one off now. Once find my iPhone is turned off, we will need access to either a Windows or Mac computer to install the software required to disable the liquid glass. If you don't have a computer, unfortunately, you are out of luck. Go find a computer, borrow one from a friend. So I'm gonna to move to the computer now and I'll show you the next steps. Let's first of all download the Python application. All links will be in the description. So on Windows, it will say download Python install manager. On Mac, it will just say download Python. Now on Windows and Mac, you will see the download completes. Click on this one. And then if it gives this open executable file message, just click OK. I would recommend turning off launch when ready. It doesn't matter if this is on, but just leave it off and then click install Python like this. Once installed, we can exit out of this one. For Mac users, when the setup loads, it will look slightly different. Just follow the on-screen instructions. Now let's head into the Nuggets GitHub link. I'll have this one in the description. And on this website, 
you can first of all see the source code. This shows you that the software is safe to use because any developer can check the code. And if there's viruses, if there's anything dodgy, then it will be flagged up. But what we're gonna do first is scroll all the way down and keep on scrolling until you see requirements. For Windows users only, click on the Windows button and then click the app from iTunes Apple website button. This will take you to the iTunes download and just click the download to download iTunes. Download and set up iTunes from this link even if you've already done it in the past. Now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll up and we're going to look for the releases button. So let's click on releases right here. It will show you the latest release. This version number might be higher in the future. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for the Nugget download. So you have Nugget Mac OS ARM, which is M1, M2, M4 Pro Max chips, the Apple Silicon. You have Intel, Mac OS, the ancient ones. And then you have Nugget Windows. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to click on Nugget Windows and I will download the zip file like this. Now on Windows, once this is downloaded, you just need to click into the .zip. We see the Nugget folder. We just click into this one and then we click extract all and then we just click extract and that will extract the nugget application to our computer on mac you just drag and drop the nugget app into the applications folder and then you'll be good to go before we proceed regardless on windows or mac i want you to restart your computer just to prevent any errors any issues from showing up now let's connect our iphone to the computer so I'm going to plug it in with the charging cable. And what you should see is this trust this computer message. Just tap on trust and then enter in your passcode to trust the connection with the computer. I will first give instructions on how to reverse disabling liquid glass in case you do this procedure and you change your mind. Just watch the steps closely and then I'll show you how to use the Nugget app. So if we want to make sure that we have the option to revert the liquid glass disabling. Inside of iTunes on Windows or Finder on Mac, you will now see your iPhone pop up. So click on this one. Sometimes it says it's doing a sync or a backup. It actually isn't. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna see manually backup and restore. We're just gonna click backup now like this and it should backup your iPhone. Now on your iPhone, it might ask to enter in the passcode again. So just enter that one in again, and then it will back up your iPhone. But if you don't create the backup of your iPhone, you will need to reinstall the software with this update feature. You don't lose any data, but just do this. Head to the iFirmware download link, which will be in the description, and just select your model of iPhone. Then look for the latest iOS version, click on this one, and just download the software into your operating system. And then once this is downloaded inside of iTunes, while holding down the shift key, left click, check for update on Windows, on Mac while holding the option key or alt, long press that key, and then left click, check for update. And it will give you an option to choose the firmware file you downloaded. And then when you click on open, it will reinstall the latest iOS version and it will remove the disabled liquid glass feature, but all of your files will be preserved. You'll be good to go. To use the Nugget app, let's first of all locate the app, and then we will see Nugget. Let's double click to open this one. Now on Windows, it will stay starting Nugget inside of a CMD window. On Mac, it just opens up the app directly. If you see this runtime warning, ignore the warning. Nugget will work perfectly fine. Once this opens, you should see your iPhone here. Now, if you don't, what I want you to do is click the refresh button and then it should populate. Make sure you click on this one and confirm that your iPhone is selected and not any other device. What we will now do is we will click on the miscellaneous option. We will then look for where it says internal and we will tick the disable liquid glass feature. At the time of recording, it is possible that this option might be in a different location in this app. You have to find it and then click the apply button. 
and then click apply changes. Everything is good to go. It has applied the changes successfully. Now, real quick, at the time of recording, if you want to turn back on liquid glass, logically, you'd go back into internal and then untick disable liquid glass and apply. However, I haven't got that to work. That's why I put the earlier instructions in the video. But if Nugget creates an update that makes that work, then I'll just put the information in the description so that you'll be informed. So now you're done with the computer. So let's look at our iPhone. So on the iPhone, you'll be brought to the setup screen, do nothing. And after a couple of seconds, it will return you to the home screen. And now beautiful liquid glass is disabled. So you saw how it looks like on iPhone. I would recommend turning on the dark mode. So when we turn on dark mode, you can see the dock looks nicer, our library looks nicer. The control center, unfortunately, it's just stuck looking like this. Uh, you can long press and you play around with that. I'd also recommend turning off reduced transparency and then turning off reduced motion as those uh, settings are needed. As well, if you don't see the time, I did show this at the start of the video how to fix, but just in case you skip that part, if you don't see your time, then you'll need to long press on your wallpaper and just tap into customize and then tap on the clock and just set this one back to solid. And there we go, time's working, glass not working, solid's fully working, then we can tap on done and then we'll be good to go. And you will immediately notice a nice performance boost. Now real quick, two things. Number one, if you update your software via settings, the liquid glass will turn back on. So you don't wanna update your software, or if you do update the software, then you have to run the program again. And number two, this video took many hours of research and recording. While this tutorial looks simple, each if and but I explained took hours of testing. And so if you found this video useful, it really would mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, I disabled liquid glass or hey, I found this video useful, thank you. If you did not find this video useful, any questions, any concerns, leave them in the comment section and I will try my best to get back to you. I hope this video was useful and I hope you have a nice rest of your day. Bye-bye.